he shall put his angels charge over you they shall bear thee up on their wings lest you dash your feet against a stone i know you don't believe it they say oh yes yes but you must believe it and say this is true so a man looks at you and threatens you and say if both of us wake up tomorrow you must die and you say you know you will sleep too abi tell him the person boasting you are not doing night be jail you too you will be you will be sleeping for six hours you will not know what is happening where is the angel of death that swept over arrogant egypt and some people did not wake up any man playing with your life and prophesying to you is playing with death in the name of the lord jesus christ don't fear men don't let any man threaten you because of anything you threaten god's elect he suffered no man to do them wrong yea he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm brothers and sisters you are immune but this thing is not just hearsay please every lady lay your hands on your womb prophesy to yourself in one minute and say me and barrenness are like the east and the west we will never meet go ahead and pray there's a reason why i'm saying that lay your hands on your womb and prophesy no barrenness don't let anybody tell you oh it's because everybody is eating spaghetti now we are eating this and cancer is multiplying fibroid is multiplying cause it god is glorified in my body i have no business with barrenness this womb will carry boys and girls prophesy it to yourself don't call what they call conspiracy conspiracy hallelujah brothers lay your hands on your head and say the secrets of wealth must come upon me lift your voice and pray in one minute lord you are showing me the secrets god is giving me a great ministry there's much to do for the kingdom i don't have the time to be thinking about money no it's a cost I don't have the time to leave my assignment leave everything money 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 grant me grace to get this key and move on to do important kingdom things in my life can't spend 60 years of my life just daydreaming and being obsessed about money carnality over money show me the keys let me not put anybody's daughter on that trouble let me not raise children and punish them because of ignorance please pray you will thank me for what you are doing today lord i'm tired this thing has a way there is a way out show it to me there is a way out oh there is a way out hallelujah now everyone i want you to pray while you are seated will soon stand up but i like you to command every area of your life that has not been working don't just command it to work say lord the secret to make it work please show me even if it's something that has been taught but my eyes have not seen show it to me Sato Sabalakata. my spiritual life is going down and down and down i can't pray for 10 minutes i've tried and tried and tried there is a devil so we're trying to stop me lord what is the secret to a consistent prayer life what is the secret to a consistent word life i'm tired of this not studying the word i've been lying to people that i study my bible i know i'm not studying it i don't have an appetite for god something is wrong show me the secret i pray and nothing happens i say the same thing anointed people say but nothing happens what is the key to the anointing coming into my life let me speak and let there be results for your glory pray for your health lord i'm tired I've spent over 100,000 on my body this year. I've spent over 500,000. I don't even know what is wrong with me now. I know you desire to be glorified in my body. I'm tired of being afraid of death. I'm a man of God, but I fear death. I'm a woman of God, but I fear death. I fear assaults of terrorism. I fear accidents. I fear the operations of witches and wizards. There's something I need to know. I'm tired of living in fear. Pray. Pray. I'm tired of going to my village.
age because I think I will not come back tired that they may charm me. Oh, give me access, give me access, give me access. Sato Kapai. Give me access, pray. Soparika Tekete, Rakoshara, Lekaria Soto Maria Tabala Balaba. Longevity. Lord, let me be as, as confident as I am sitting on my seat to know I will live long. Let me be confident. And the secret was revealed to Daniel. And the secret was revealed to Daniel. And the secret was revealed to Daniel. Finally, pray. I must break the back of poverty. Is my agreement with God? Is my covenant with God? To the fourth generation, no one has prospered in my family until they serve idols. I will not serve idols and I will prosper for the glory of the name of the Lord. I will not serve idols and I will prosper. I will not bribe and I will prosper. I will not cheat and I will prosper. I will not play fraudulence and I will prosper. There is a secret that must be shown to me. I know I'm a young man, but I must prosper. Employment or no employment, recession or no recession, there is a secret. Show it to me, oh God. Now jump on your feet and pray for any other area that has refused to walk. I challenge you, show me the secret. Why have I not entered a relationship, oh God? Why are men running away from me? Show it to me. So when I gather, it scatters. When I gather, it scatters. Show me why, although I've been delivered, I'm still seeing family patterns in my life. The failures of my father's house is still reflecting in my life, although I'm praying in tongues. For the next three minutes, pray in the spirit, blasting tongues. Something must open in the heavens. Something must open. Lord, I must deliver my family. I must deliver my lineage. Tired of poverty. Tired of struggling. Tired of a resultless Christian life. Tired of a life burning of the anointing. Lord, it's not working in my life. I have to admit it this night. Pray, it's not working. Why is it not working? Why is it not working? Why is it not working? I knock on the gates of heaven. I demand an explanation. Nobody is rising in my family. Nothing is working. They serve you, yet no door is open. Oh, pray, pray, don't be tired. Leka teka soto la ba 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 ba. Embretos kapras kalekete. Shakata pras kalakato shatalika. Embreso sete dekete. Mambro sekete kelebo soto bala ba ba ba. Hallelujah. Hearing is my father glorified. When you bear much fruit. Listen. Listen. I want you in the next one minute to pray violently. 
knock on the door that controls results and say lord for your glory is my is my turn to testify i told you nothing happens for everyone that asked it, receive it lord i've never really had a testimony this year why is that so has favored me no door has opened no deliverance has happened Hallelujah. 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 I want you to pray and knock on the door of heaven. Your heart is already right with God, I know that. But I want you to agree with God and say, Lord, between now, can you give me a reason to praise your name this year? I tell you, if you, if you obey this instruction and pray with your heart, you will be surprised what my God will do. Lift up your voice and pray. Lord, I agree with you. Shapata. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Ay, 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 ay. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Do it for your glory. Surprise my father. Surprise my mother. Surprise them. I intercede for them. May the angel of your presence reach them. Give them a miracle. Let that cancer be healed. Let that HIV be healed. Let that barrenness be broken. Let her take in before Christmas. Having a child already in a womb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone shout this after me in the name of Jesus. I decree that every force in the heavenlies programmed a sign to stop results from manifesting in my life to discourage my Christian life I challenge you by the blood of Jesus lift your voice and pray ancestral powers yokes spirits ordinances written in the heavenlies projected by witchcraft and wickedness to stop my life from glorifying God to stop results from happening in my life I challenge you I challenge you I challenge you by the blood of the eternal covenant hallelujah let's take one more prayer point I want us to release the ministry of angels listen 
the bible says are they not ministering spirits let me tell you hear me angels are real i see them all the time you will be foolish to believe angels are not real not everybody here seated physically in koinonia is a human being i have seen them many times as i preach they sit down like human beings they are not human beings i'd like you to pray say in the name of jesus see some of you are still joking say it again in the name of jesus i am an heir of salvation therefore i decree and i deploy the ministry of angels to every area of my life to war a warfare until i become victorious lift your voice and pray i release their ministry release my helpers to come into my destiny release favor i release angels over koinonia the angels assigned over koinonia we release you by the word of god the angels assigned over god's people we release you we release you we release you we release you in the name of jesus bring miracles bring signs bring wonders hallelujah we're out of time but let's pray the holy ghost is asking me that we challenge the spirit of fear look at me listen let me tell you something about the spirit of fear i tell you fire is burning in this place listen fear is a dangerous spirit it stops you from taking god seriously when god speaks fear exposes you to the obvious limitations it's not that they are not there the obstacles are there but god's word does not explain it creates god will not tell you how by next week you will be holding a million in your hand don't be stupid and say god how will it happen who do i know blessed is she that believes he said for unto her there shall be a performance fear of death listen fear of failure fear of not having the money to feed yourself do you know it's fear that make people do all kinds of foolish things you are afraid before you know it you sell your phone because you want ten thousand in your pocket the ten thousand finishes you sell your trouser people sell all kinds of things people have converted and have left god because of fear in the name of jesus i challenge the spirit of fear over my life over my family over my loved ones over koinonia i declare in the name of jesus you are banished from my life forever lift your voice and pray there's no fear there's no fear i refuse to fear say unto the righteous it shall be well say unto the righteous koinonia you pray tonight don't look around pray say unto the righteous it shall be well say unto the righteous it shall be well fear of marriage fear of children fear of terrorism after me in the name of Jesus father every prophecy you spoke over my life that has not happened I want you to know that I still believe you 
and I agree with you. I must receive that testimony. Lift your voice and pray. I wrestle with prophecy. I agree. I agree. You said you will heal my father. I still believe. You said you will heal my mother. I still believe. You said you will prosper my business. Prosper my ministry. I still believe. Please lift your hands. I want to pray for you. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. When you dare to believe God and understand what it takes to get the results you need, I pray for you in the name that is above all names. First and foremost, even as you have prayed, I challenge every force of witchcraft that has been released over Nigeria, released over states to frustrate believers and make it look like God's word is not working. I command that power to bow in the name of Jesus. I command that power to bow in the name of Jesus. Number two, I pray for you. The kind of speed that you have not seen from Je I ask the God that I serve to give you that speed in the name of Jesus. That he will perform his word hastily. Hastily. In the name of Jesus. Number three. I pray for you with all my heart. Every secret you have been looking at but you have never really understood. You look at it all the time. But you, are, you listen to the messages. Help them please. But you have not gotten it. I speak upon your spirit. May an unction. The unction that teaches men. Things. I'm, I'm doing an impartation upon your spirit. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. May that light shine upon your spirit. May that light, that illumination, shine upon your spirit. Any man on earth who is holding your answer, any physical man holding your answer, I put pressure upon their spirit. They must answer you. They must answer your parents. They must answer your loved ones. I pray for you every miracle we have received as a ministry this year whether it is in finances whether it is in increase whether it is in influence and impact I pray for you from the depth of my heart beginning from this night I don't care how short the time is I decree and I ask the Lord most high to reproduce that testimony in your life May he reproduce that testimony in your life. Anyone here, hold on please, who is sick in any part of your body, any nonsense the devil has planted, whether you call it fibroid, whether you call it menstrual pain, whether you say barrenness, impotency, whether you call it migraine, SS, AS, bad dreams, witchcraft any kind of sickness right now as i stand here in the name that is above all names may the fire of the holy ghost surge through your body and clear that devil out of your life may the fire of the holy ghost surge through help them please may the fire of the holy ghost my god I tell you, I see fire falling on people. That's what I see in the spirit. Fire. People are getting healed.
may the fire of the Holy Ghost surge through your body and clear that devil right now. May the fire of the Holy Ghost, I say it again, standing upon this grace, may the fire of the Holy Ghost surge through your body and clean your blood and cleanse your life. Anyone here called SS, AS, I command that genotype change now. Any stranger you were not born with, if you were not born with it, breast lump, fibroid, ovarian cyst, any devil sitting on your body, your body must glorify God tonight. Therefore, I curse that devil. I curse that spirit. I curse that devil. I curse that spirit. Everything that has stopped you from being productive, I prophesy to your hands. Your hands represent they are symbolic of your productivity when the hands of samson were tied he could not do anything i pray for these hands may god teach you the mystery of profiting in the name of jesus he said i am the lord that teacheth thy hands to profit and leadest thou in the way that thou should go may god show you the mysteries may he show you in the name of jesus Delay comes to an end now. Delay comes to an end now. Delay comes to an end now. Everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family. It comes to end this night in the name of Jesus. I pray for your spiritual life. The kind of encounter that you have not had from January till now. Strange encounters, revelations of heaven. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, every wall that stands before you and the next dimension, I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho, I command every wall, go down flat go down flat financial walls go down flat career walls go down flat in the name of Jesus and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to the gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter I compel favor from them to you I compel favor from them to you in the name of Jesus There are angels that herald the influence of a man. Listen, honor is a grace. When that grace is not upon you, no matter how noble you are, you will never be honored. Honor is a grace. And when that grace is on you, only God can take it away. It says, and Jabez was more honorable than his, not more prosperous not more favored more honorable 
many people do not know what honor is the fortitude for preference there is an unction from God that fishes you out of the crowd places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you reward you recognize that which God has invested within you listen to me there are many gifted people the eye that can bless has not seen you there are many men of God the eyes that can discern and lift you is not there let me pray for you there is a grace for honor therefore God even thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows I pray for you in the name of Jesus may the mantle that makes for honor territorial honor honor at a national level in the name of Jesus receive that grace now receive that grace now You will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life. When the grace for honor and favor is upon you, you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers. Listen, it's a mystery that cannot be explained. You will be suspended until they appear. Then you come. Listen is a waste to fight battles without reward David said what shall be given to the man that will do this to Goliath sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward I pray for you may the Lord position your destiny help us and cause them to love you and to honor you me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing it is still a year of extraordinary fruitfulness I stand by the God of heaven have the faith to believe don't sit down questioning leave your mind and trust God it is within his power to make great he takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around I'm praying for you for some of you before this year is over step into a dimension of prepared blessings prepared blessings prepared parushalata I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the grace that will produce results of wonders in your life, may that grace rest upon you now. Prepared blessings that take you to realms. Ten years put in one month, I release that grace upon you. Listen, these graces are not some carnal show of wealth. No, they are time redemption systems. Understand what they are. They seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. I pray for every family represented here. The sound of mourning, the sound of pain and anguish by the Spirit of the living God, let it come to an end this night. Everything that 
that has refused to walk in your life by the power of the highest i compel it to begin to walk now men you do not know may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers in the name of jesus christ i pray for you the presence of god the weightiness the substance of his presence that must rest upon you especially if you are in ministry by the power of the holy ghost be a career of divine presence in the name of jesus everyone here trusting god for a job before this year runs out may god give you a miracle job Every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough we call upon the God of the heavens in the name of Jesus let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace hear me whoever ignores you will pay for it hear me any man that fights you goes down instantly let me say it again any man that fights you goes down instantly i pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice the grace and the wings of the spirit that will take you to dimensions untold may that grace rest upon you I pray for every man and every woman of God here, the errands and the horse that will hold your hands, loyal men indeed, may God give them to you. Anyone here who the testimony over your life is Ichabod, I declare by the Spirit of God, a restoration happens now. shall not be afraid of the snare of the fowler nor the noisome pestilence nor the destruction that wasted in noonday says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side it says none shall hurt you but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked i pray for you as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler may you escape from every evil may you escape from every trap in the name of jesus christ i speak over your life go from glory to glory if we speak over your prayer life over your word study life whatever has stolen your joy whatever has stolen your fire whatever has stolen your passion whatever has stolen your focus in the name of jesus by fire let it be restored tonight May the gifts of the Holy Ghost operate freely in your life. May you be a wonder first to yourself. And then may you be a wonder to everyone around you. In the name of Jesus. For anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death. To see to it that you will not finish this year well. To see to it that it will not be well with you and your family. Gehazi came and met the woman and said it's all well it's all well with your household I pray for you because the Bible says to say to the righteous it shall be well therefore I speak over you it is well I declare over you all is well in the name of Jesus Christ doors of delay I command you be opened in the name of Jesus Delay, be gone. Delay, be gone. Delay, delay in marriage. Delay in jobs. I cause it to its root. I release you in the name of Jesus. Every academic bondage. Academic bondage. Kateka 
Aleko Sopa Repete Latu Zabadi Adaka In the name of Jesus Be free Be free Be free Mental blockage Be free from it Academic bondage I set you free This is the best exam You would have ever written In your institutions of learning I prophesy it By the power of the highest I call this session for you A season of seven-fold restoration seven-fold restoration seven-fold seven-fold not one-fold not two-fold I speak it where you have been victimized any student here who has been victimized right now whether it is project or service year or whatever i change it in the realm of the spirit any one of your loved ones that has no job i command fearful supernatural jobs in the name of jesus in the name of jesus Every womb called Barry. I don't care whether the womb has been removed or not. Right now, in nine months' time, you will celebrate miracle children. Be open. Every barren womb. Be open. Hallelujah. Every plague of death over your life or your family members. Make sure you are lifting your hands up. Every plague of death by the blood that speaketh better things. Because I see miscarriages that the devil wants to bring to many families. I see miscarriage of children. Every plague of death, I command it to pass over you forever. In the name of Jesus. He said, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with a type of oil called the oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. The anointing that brings you above. I call you in the realm of the spirit. Rise up in the name of Jesus rise up a new level of prosperity a new level of lifting a new level of wisdom and Jesus grew in wisdom in stature and in favor with God and with men as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives let a cloak of favor hit you where you are favor 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 every terminal disease in this place HIV cancer in the name of Jesus we terminate it once and for all be free in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus SS AS we change your genotype in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus every demonic oppression 
that is responsible for where you are and where your family is tonight it is time for the new anointing cut up your loins and be ready every yoke of bondage surely must be broken i command every captivity over your family by the shed blood of jesus christ captivity ends in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i'm standing in the spirit before a gate and the lord is telling me let god's people walk to it and move forward in their life i command you by the spirit and according to the vision of the lord to me move forward go forward no more stagnation in ministry enter your place of anointing enter your place of rest enter it i place you inside it i take you into the mantle of your life the prophetic oil of your life i release it move forward go forward in the name of jesus christ and i speak to you every egyptian you see today you are the one who knows the egyptian so lift your hands with faith in your spirit everything called an egyptian as surely as the lord god of israel lives once and for all bye bye to them forever bye bye to them forever in your family bye bye to them bye bye to them i release signs wonders i release miracles take it take it take it take it from the depth of my heart according to the order of grace take your miracle take your miracle take your miracle everything your hand touches from today in the name that is above all names i command it to multiply this is what i'm demonstrating to you what i saw in the spirit that god is connecting you to the people who will take you to the next level of your life may the lord take you where your gift will be needed may the lord take you where your gift i command demand upon your oil demand prophetic demand i command every uncompleted family project every uncompleted family project the lord shows me the number 21 in the realm of the spirit and i pray that between now and the next 21 days i command angels of help i release it to your families receive it receive it help help is coming Zion's help, the helper of Zion, move across families, move across families. I tell you as surely as the Lord lives, between today and the next 21 days, you will see fearful testimonies by the hand of God. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I impart spiritual gift upon you. 
at the count of seven let fresh fire fall upon everybody every one two three my god do it i see angels four five six there it is come on take it take it take it take it take it outside take it take it take it in the name of jesus take it take it take it fire the prophetic the apostolic the evangelistic teaching mantles pastoral graces leadership entrepreneurship i fire it into your spirit everywhere you have been deserted so that no man goes through you i call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations in the name of the lord jesus doors be open breakthrough breakthrough many of you don't know what breakthrough is you just receive it breakthrough i release it breakthrough i release it breakthrough I release it breakthrough an angel stands in this row take it breakthrough take it take it take it take it right to the back take it take it Are we together it's a very serious prayer we're going to pray now you are going to pray that if by any means there is any spirit entity in my life or around me it's time for you to come out it's time for you to go listen as you pray this prayer many strange things will start happening to you don't worry about it you just focus on this prayer and pray with all your heart and watch what happens say in the name of Jesus say it in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that any spirit entity finding expression in my mind in my body around my life hear the word of the lord i cast you out of my life now lift your voice and pray pray fire is falling pray fire is falling i cast every spirit i cast every devil i cast every spirit by the power of the holy ghost my mind my body around my life around koinonia in the name of jesus around my family married also pray for your family pray for your children i cast every devil Spirit, not a 
Rakatose Teriasha. In the name of Jesus. There's no place for you in my mind. There's no place for you in my life. I come against ordinances. healing fibroid now the Lord is ministering to me a mighty deliverance is going to happen now it's starting with ladies any spirit entity that comes in the form of a man and attempts to oppress you in the night right now in the name of Jesus Christ let the fire from heaven fall right now and command i command that spirit to go help them right now any spirit entity using the face of anyone to molest you and close doors inside outside i command deliverance now i command deliverance now let the daughters of jacob possess their possession in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. I'm hearing in my spirit uncontrolled anger. It's a spirit. It's leaving people right now. Uncontrolled anger. It's, a, it's an unusual anger. Rage. It comes, you can see anything and you can do anything. I'm seeing fire in the name of Jesus. Anyone who is a victim of this operation. Right now in the name of Jesus, I bring you deliverance. I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uncontrolled anger. I come against it now. Please help her. I'm seeing a vision. And the Lord is asking me to pray on that case. In this vision, I'm seeing someone dream. That's what I'm seeing now. And in that dream, you keep seeing yourself going back either to your old house or to a primary school or writing an exam you are finished. It's a strong spirit of delay. I stand by this apostolic and prophetic grace. Help your wife. Right now in the name of Jesus. At the count of three, the spirit of delay. Hear the word of the Lord. Let God's people go now. One, two, three. I command that spirit. Go now. Go now. Please help them. Go now. This is one thing I do. Forgetting the things that are behind. No devil should take you back again. I command that spirit. Go now. I cast that spirit now. If there is anyone you know, whether you are here or anyone you know, 
that for some reason has not been able to take in in the name of barrenness whether you are here or you are standing for them i want you to agree i want to pray let's see the devil that will stop them from taking it in the name of jesus anyone you know and you are standing for that the devil i don't care what the medical report is that the devil has come to make sure that they will not celebrate children in the name that is above all names we release children from heaven in the name of jesus we release children from heaven we open every barren womb in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the lord is showing me a group of people you see you have dreams frequently and in the dreams you see yourself receiving things and it's something that in the physical you are hoping to receive but the moment you see it in that dream it will never happen again it's an irony it's like the opposite of what you see in dreams is what happens the lord is asking me to deliver those people now please help her help her just stand near your wife so that she doesn't have to fall right now in the name of jesus in the name that is above all names I decree and declare from the realm of the spirit let there be deliverance for you now let there be deliverance for you now If you have seen this pattern I'm about to describe in your family, then I want you to listen carefully. It's always that the future is worse than the past. You never have a situation where you leave certain things and go higher and higher. You look at all your loved ones. They once worked. They once married. They once had children. They once had a house you are in a situation where the future is never brighter than the past it's always once upon a time this was happening i need to crush that devil from your life please help them once upon a time i was rich once upon a time i was married once upon a time i was on fire for god once upon a time i was a pastor i had a church no the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth ever brighter unto the perfect day. When your tomorrow becomes worse than your yesterday, there is a spirit reversing the equation. Lift your hands, I want to pray for you. In the name that is above all names, I declare that any force from hell that is responsible for aborting a glorious tomorrow to take the events of the past and still bring it into your tomorrow right now at the count of three i declare that spirit must let you go one two three let them go now let them go now by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. My spirit is heavy. Circles of repeated sicknesses. I want to pray now. It's not a normal thing. Whether it is hepatitis, whether it is a blood related disease, or whether it is every month malaria every month malaria every month typhoid you treat it it still comes back every month headache every month whatever it is hold on please the lord is showing me something i just saw like a pile of money and then I saw it disappear and the Lord said there are people money physically disappears like lives their life I'm not saying you waste it you can keep 10,000 and come back and find 7,000 and nobody was in that house 
it's not just money items you can wash clothes and hang it you you didn't steal it you will come back you will not find it listen well this is a, a deliverance series just allow me to help that lady i'm seeing a lady in a vision now you were alone you washed your underwear in the night by the next day you didn't find two of them again it's gone from that day something happened in your life in a strange way severe menstrual pain is one of the things you started having uncontrollable pain in the name of jesus everything the devil has taken from anyone i decree and declare by the anointing of the spirit let there be restoration now let there be restoration now let there be restoration now the lord is showing me someone every time you see someone die in the dream a few weeks later it will happen physically now you have seen your loved ones you saw them last week you saw like a, somebody was announcing to you that i don't know if it's your mother or something that died if we don't pray for you it's going to happen in the name of jesus christ i declare all oh death where is thy sting all oh grave where is thy victory i prophesy right now upon your life by the anointing of the holy ghost i command that death to pass over your family i command that death to pass over your family Just, just let me just talk about two issues I'm struggling to share what God is showing me now this has to do with a group of ladies listen there is a lady here every time you see yourself in a dream you are a man not a woman that's why I'm struggling to share what I'm saying. Physically, you are a lady, but every time you see yourself in a dream, it's like you are carrying the form of a man. This thing has affected you even in the area of relationship. If a guy looks at you and says, I love you, it's like it's like um it's it's like you feel as if you are gay. It's it's like something has numbed the capacity to receive love as a lady because of that encounter is a demonic thing that i have to pray for you for a very demonic thing i'm seeing like smoke this is strange and then it is it's just like moving around in the air wherever those groups of people are i don't believe it's just one person it's an operation of darkness in the name of jesus i stretch my hands right now and i decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost be free from that demonic siege now. Be free from that demonic siege now. Ah, hold on. There is a lady, a physical person appeared to you, not a dream. I'm not talking of your dreaming physically physical like you are seeing me like this appeared to you and was having a conversation with you appeared to you and was having a conversation with you and from that conversation your life was never the same again it looked like it was a woman that was appearing and talking to you like revealing to you some secrets that had to do with the past and from that day you started hearing voices even in the afternoon you can sit down and hear like people are discussing i need to pray for you if i don't pray for you very soon they will admit you in the hospital because they'll say you are talking and behaving like somebody who has a psychosomatic condition wherever that person is in the name of jesus i may not call you out because of time but i declare right now by the anointing of the Holy Spirit 
that devil that spirit in the name of Jesus be free from it now if you know in this place that you find out that certain sicknesses never leave you they keep repeating cycles just place your hand on your chest I'm about to pray it doesn't matter what part of your body and what sickness you just place your hand on your chest I'm going to pray someone will shout under the anointing when that happens the anointing for this healing is not a sickness it's a pattern that God is breaking now the moment that shout happens I will rebuke that the power of God is looking for one person there's somebody that will shout that's the shout right now in the name of Jesus by the anointing of the Holy Spirit every pattern of reoccurring infirmity reoccurring sickness whether it's a blood related disease every pattern I say it again of reoccurring sickness reoccurring disease right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I command the spirit responsible lose your hold now 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 hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit I, my God I'm seeing a sword right now I declare every hold of darkness even in this series help them Jesus look at what is happening there in the name of Jesus you know my voice I was once your victim but tonight has come as one who has been given the keys of David by the message of God I declare right now in the name of Jesus everyone here under the sound of my voice who is under any kind of siege right now be free in the name of Jesus 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 every family under any kind of siege that is mocking your Christian integrity and making God's word look like a lie in the name of Jesus fire I'm seeing fire that's what I'm seeing from heaven in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you in the spirit in the name of Jesus I cause the plague of witchcraft I cause the plague of witchcraft in the name of Jesus every voice speaking against everyone's destiny the Bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us the Bible says he nailed it to the cross I declare and I decree by the substitutionary sacrifice of the eternal begotten of the Father I cause every power that is not of God in the name of Jesus Christ I reverse any ordinance in the spirit over every individual over every family I command a reversal now in the name of Jesus and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession let me pray for you everything that must enter your hand the open doors that the blood of Christ release help them please everything you have seen in the realm of the spirit 
God has shown you dreams that you are a possessor. God has shown you dreams. Your children, your breakthrough, your lifting, your speed, your job, your marriage. In the name of Jesus, I release it to your hands now. Become a possessor. I release it to your hands now. Become a possessor. And I pray for you. The Bible says when you catch a thief, he won't just restore what he stole because he has wasted your time by stealing. Can I speak restoration? Let me tell you, there are many of us you have lost things. Some you have lost time. Mashamakata, Lekotos Kabata. Joshua said, Son, go back, move, go back. I prophesy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. I prophesy as one sent in the name that is above all names. Everything the devil took away from you, I command a restoration now. I command a restoration now. Whatever you have lost in time, I speak to you. Between today and Friday coming, I pray that someone will have the faith to believe this prayer. May my God, the God of Jeshurun, arise and surprise you. Arise and surprise you. We call him Ebenezer, the helper of Israel. I declare, oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. hallelujah hallelujah obtained promises obtained promises obtained promises what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that thou received it and thou shall have it listen in the next two minutes i'd like you to receive things in the spirit the things that the bible said please don't take casual this opportunity we're operating under an anointing i'd like you to declare receive by faith in the name of jesus receive mantles receive anointings receive open doors receive favors receive bl blessings receive graces in the name of jesus receive ease That you may receive that your joy may be fulfilled hallelujah i like you to take this remaining two minutes seriously you are going to make decrees you are not talking to god you are talking to your destiny you are talking to your life are you ready to pray Open your mouth and make the crease. Lift up your heads. Oh, ye gates. Shake it. Lift up your heads. I command close doors. Be open. In the name of Jesus. I hold the keys of David. And I command the doors open. That no man will shut. I decree and declare my path is as a shining light it shines brighter it shines brighter unto the perfect day I decree and declare I shall not die I live I choose life I choose life I reject death not by accident not by the soul God is a with favor like a shield. God is a with favor 
like a shield in the name of Jesus. I go from glory to glory. I go from power to power. I go from grace to grace. From anointing to anointing. From wisdom to wisdom. Koinonia is like a shining light that grows brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. The Lord gives the word from this place and great be the company of them that publish it. Bless your children. Bless your wife. Bless your husband. Bless your home. Bless your finances. Bless your spiritual life. We declare over Zaria, we declare over Kaduna, we declare over Nigeria in the name of Jesus, rising from glory to glory. Everything I do prospers in the name of Jesus. No failure in my life. No failure in me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Shalabarusa siaka parusa zik, ende prato salaga da brada gada bush, shkabarato sabrande ge parusi atabaladaba. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we release the spirit of faith. We decree and declare, in the name of Jesus, the workings of miracles, supernatural testimonies by the power of the Holy Ghost from nation to nation, from state to state, from territory to territory, we decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Turn again the captivity of Zion, like the streams of the Negev. Shalabarato zakabarato jedekas, entekele barato sabaroto shubahasa. And the legrando sada paru sedias, krapa kaparu dasi ke paru disias, englato sabra da paratu ziatash. In the name of Jesus, turn situations around. We declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, agree with me. In the name of Jesus. And the apostle says, Lord, behold their threatenings. And we pray that you stretch forth your hands and you grant that miracle signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son. He said, behold their threatenings. Respond to their threatenings by stretching forth your hands and that miracles and signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son. Father, we decree and declare these are issues that have threatened the liberty of the saints they have robbed you of glory and lord we bring them under judgment in the name of jesus and lord i stand in agreement with every grace within this house and we decree and prophesy that these egyptians you see today in the name of jesus you see them no more forever these Egyptians you see they, in the name of Jesus you see them no more forever my Bible says when the Lord turn again the captivity of Zion 
he said we were like them that dream and our mouths were filled with laughter and they said among the hidden the lord had done great things for us he says the lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad then he says turn again our captivity like the streams of the south we decree and declare that everything that represents captivity here let it be turned like the streams of the south The Bible says, have you heard of this proverb before that a nation be born in one day? But then it says, as soon as Zion travails, it says she shall put forth her son. I declare speed to every request here. <laughs> Prophet Joel speaking by the spirit said, and I will restore the years. Let me tell you this, real dominion is dominion over time no matter what you dominate if you do not dominate time you are not walking in dominion and i will restore the years many of us we've wasted time we've wasted opportunities in the name of jesus let there be restoration <laughs> hallelujah now i pray for you listen every time we, we wrap up these meetings with impartations it is not a ceremony not many people are really sick not many people are really oppressed but the challenge with many believers is that we may sustain the knowledge but we do not sustain the grace that provides for the possibilities that we desire the bible says and god is able to make all grace abound towards you the key to sufficiency is sustaining the requisite level of grace there is a grace that controls speed there is a grace that controls favor you can be hard working but it does not mean you have favor the bible says it is vain to wake up in the morning it takes agility to wake up in the morning and then to sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow but the bible says he gives his beloved rest he can bring his beloved into sabbaths hallelujah yes there is a grace that compels the helpers of your destiny to find you just because they were ordained to help you does not mean they will find you no the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon hallelujah we desire all kinds of favors we desire all kinds of liftings and let me tell you sincerely these things are not in heaven they've left long from the foundations of the earth the bible lets us know that we have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places routed through the christ it will take understanding of his systems to make these things become real in our lives and the possibilities in the life of a believer please hear this we're wrapping up is governed by three things number one is governed by your understanding of the ways of god the methodologies of god as it makes for that issue of concern every need in the kingdom has a requisite level of spiritual understanding colossians 1 verse 9 that we be filled with the knowledge of his will that we be filled with all wisdom and with spiritual understanding so everything we desire there is a requisite level of spiritual understanding that sponsors that possibility number two having obtained the understanding you will need the grace the empowerment that causes you to walk in the experience of that which you now know hallelujah and so paul is saying god is able it is within his ability the bible says do not withhold good from him that is due when it is within your power it is within the power of god to lift it is within the power of god to restore listen to me it is within the power of god to bless to open doors but there are graces that control it thou anointest my head with oil my cup he does not anoint your cup you know what is on your head by looking at your cup if your head is anointed your cup will prove it thou anointest my head with oil my ministry overflows you anoint my head with oil my finances overflow you anoint my head with oil favor overflows so the real problem for many people is a correct understanding of impartation impartation is not anointing with oil 
impartation is not even falling down impartation is a spiritual system by which the possibilities of the spirit are transferred is the transference of spiritual possibilities and the thing the operation of god's grace in the life of a man the anointing the engracing if it is there it is there if it's not there it's not there it's as simple as that if it is there it will speak immediately hallelujah so it is possible that you walk out of this meeting tonight with a dimension of grace you did not come with and you will know by the results that begin to change remember our teaching that christ be revealed that christ be glorified but there is a coordination of graces the weightiness of a man in the spirit is a summation of the graces that are at work in your life when you become a a compendium of several graces then your possibilities become defined by these graces favor speed lifting access to the hearts of men there is a grace that makes a generation loyal to you it takes more than leadership it is a grace there is a grace that compels everything that is in your hand to multiply it's true that a woman can be frying a cara and yet build from that business it's not a car that built it there is a grace on it that is the grace that can make five loaves and two fish to feed five thousand people and still have 12 baskets full listen please hear me anything you do and i'm not stupid believe me i know what i'm saying anything you do without being empowered first is a total waste of time do business from the strength of the flesh and you will watch yourself have a plethora of frustrations it will come one after the other in successions that will frustrate you but let that investment of the spirit rest upon your life and you will watch things that should not work work the anointing of the spirit does not work generically anointings are in levels and dimensions and they limit themselves to the jurisdiction of their operation the grace for favor will not heal the sick please listen to me are we together now the grace for wisdom will not necessarily bring speed as it were so the bible says god is able to make all grace all abound towards you I like to know what graces are not at work in my life so that I pursue them with hunger, desperation, and honor. So when we are gathered like this, haven't received prayer for healing, haven't received the word, I think in my opinion that one of the most important things that you receive is a new anointing, a new dimension, either a higher level of the same grace or a new dimension of a grace that you did not have. You can have the grace that makes for productivity, but not have the grace for favor. Everything you have, you work for. That's not profitable. You will not be able to give God glory. The proof of favor is not money. The proof of favor is the loyalty of the hearts of men. Hallelujah. Are you ready to receive? I have watched with shock how people have neglected graces that their destinies their ministries their businesses require and i've also watched with shock at the childlike reception that ordinary people have just come to embrace graces that turn them into signs and wonders i've shared with you again and again my testimonies that i am a product of many anointings many anointings i like to find the graces that are not at work in my life and i know them by tracing the things that look like limitations in my life i'm like a spiritual archaeologist i thank god for that which is at work but i search for that which is not at work because every grace is available it takes discernment and honor to receive hallelujah and I'm standing tonight in agreement with all the graces of the men and the women of God in this place. And if you can believe, you will be surprised. You see, 
I have prayed for many years and I will tell you this you know that I love you you are my people I'm committed to your growth please listen to me <clears throat> there is a grace I have prayed and cried to God over that it will rest upon this house in a lavish way and is the grace for favor I have seen people reproduce various graces the anointing the healing the wisdom of God but I don't know why this favor dimension <clears throat> when the favor of god comes upon your life you will stand and marvel you will wonder at how men become like robots to see to it that your destiny manifests it is the grace for favor that will call the kings of tyre and sidon to come and entreat your favor they will come to you with their bounties they will entreat you to receive from their benevolence it takes the grace of God everyone who lifts you has relatives in need whatever will make him leave them and come to you must be the hand of God favor accelerates destiny believe me it does it can take 10 years and put it in one year in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters that is what it means to be Beulah and Hefziba. You become a delight. A delight in the name of Jesus. The favor that is required in this season for the glory of the saints, I prophesy upon you, let it rest on your life now. Access to the hearts of kings access to the resources of nobles receive that grace in the name of Jesus Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 this is the litmus test for favor if favor is at work in your life this is the proof if favor is not at work in your life this is the proof and I will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians and it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty emptiness has an explanation when no man arises to see you important enough for them to invest their time their credibility their reputation their resources to honor the dealings of god in your life hear me the diagnosis is that you do not sustain favor it's not yet at work in your life one more time i pray in the name of jesus the favor that will move you and shift you to strange dimensions of grace may it rest upon you now in the name of jesus i declare the wisdom that comes from above the wisdom the hidden wisdom of God that was ordained for the glory of the saints may that dimension of wisdom be made manifest in your life from tonight <laughs> hallelujah the Bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness it says therefore even god thy god hath anointed you with an oil called the oil of gladness and it says that oil sets you above your fellows the grace that distinguishes you in the name of jesus may that grace rest upon you yes. hallelujah the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon not god the king a king can send for you and bring you out of your situation listen listen to me the king sent for joseph not god there are men who can help men all blessings come from god through men to men i declare the man that is ordained of God to hold your hands your ministry your business in this season and to see to it that you rise in the name of Jesus enjoy their ministry
hallelujah praise the lord i pray for every dead vision every dead dream that which has been locked up in your spirit man but has refused to find expression i give it life right now in the name of jesus can i pray for your family it says as for me and my house when you serve the lord alone you are not free it must be you and your house i pray for your family members may the angel of his presence go to every family and see to it that it becomes a reflection of the glory of god <laughs> hallelujah acts chapter 12 the bible says on account of the gospel peter was caught after james was beheaded and he was chained and there were guards that protected him but the church prayed earnestly the bible says and then it says that the angel of the lord came into the prison cell and the chains fell off on their own and he led peter out through three gates the first gate opened him up and then the second gate opened him up and then the bible says he came to a gate called the iron gate and when that gate opened the next thing he saw was the city there are gates that must open for you to step into your place of influence watch this it was not the first gate it was not the second gate the iron gate opened and your business found visibility the iron gate open it says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder the gates that must be open for your influence your business your ministry to find expression i speak to it a father be open be open be open be open In the name of Jesus hear me I prophesy to you whoever fights you goes down instantly listen the Bible says he suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying that means this is the basis touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm i say it again whoever fights you goes down instantly everyone here under the sound of my voice due for promotion i stand by the god of heaven and i shift you to the next level And everyone trusting God for a job in the parable that Jesus gave they said why sittest thou idle he said no man employ us immediately they got a job I declare to you by the spirit between now and the next three months like the ark of God in the house of Obed Edom receive miracle testimonies <laughs> hallelujah let me speak to everything dead in your life he came and met the girl 12 years old dead and he said no she only sleepeth and the people laughed and he drove them out and then he held her by the hands and said talita kumi little girl i say unto you arise i speak to everything that seems dead in the name of jesus by the spirit that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus come back to life now hallelujah the bible says remember not the former things nor consider the things of old it says for behold i do a new thing i pray for you everything that does not represent the workings of god in your life in the name of jesus i declare that it fades with your yesterday And I open you up to a new season of supernatural manifestation I prophesy to everyone who is trusting God for direction for the next level of his life be it marriage be it whatever 
you are at a crossroad and you need the voice of God. May you hear the voice of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I prophesy clarity in the name of Jesus. I prophesy everyone who is already moving the wrong direction either as a result of wrong advices or wrong perceptions about the path of both spiritual and physical progress in the name of Jesus may the Lord redirect your steps now may the Lord redirect your steps now May the Lord redirect your steps now. Anyone about to leave the geography of your anointing as a result of wrong counsel or the quest for greener pastures. The Bible says there is a way that seemed right. You must be at the geography of your grace to drive. And Isaac sowed not everywhere in that land. In the name that is above all names may you hear the voice of his majesty as you sleep tonight may you hear the voice of his majesty i pray for every bond here who is experiencing stagnation you are marking time and instead of you to make progress you are not moving by extension to every family in the name that is above all names the lord told moses why are you crying to me tell the people to move forward i prophesy over your destiny move forward now move forward now move forward now make progress now make progress now I prophesy over those trusting God to settle down maritally. Every power of darkness tying down your marital destiny in the name of Jesus. That embargo is lifted now by the blood of Jesus. That embargo is lifted now. Sisters, I open your marital doors now. In the name of Jesus. No more shall this proverb be used in your life. May the Lord change your story. Hallelujah. Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness and that oil sets you above your fellows in the name of Jesus. The anointing that distinguishes you. From today, everywhere you go, be distinguished now. Help them please. So that they don't preach. Be distinguished now. Shekete Pokoto. Be distinguished now. No more will you be common. No more will you be like the rest. The hand of God is upon you. No more will you be common. I prophesy from the depths of my heart. Let an anointing that distinguishes you rest upon you now. All those trusting God for jobs. Let me, there's nothing as joblessness. The Bible says he saw them idle and he said why standeth ye idle and they say no man employ us he told them go to the vine when God speaks there must be job in the name of the Lord Jesus wherever your job is I don't care what the limiting factors are there is a superior advantage because you are in Christ therefore I invoke man tato sotobala 
by the ministry of destiny help us wherever you need to be called wherever your cv is i provoke a miracle job now 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 hallelujah i pray for everyone called barren in this place anyone called barren in this place i declare to you according to the word of the lord that according to the time of life may you return with your miracle child may you return with your miracle child i speak it I establish it in the spirit. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18. It says, Son of man, what seest thou? And he said, Four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Israel, against Jerusalem, and against Judah. So that no man will lift up his head. He said, But I have sent carpet in the name that is above all names the lord told me he will bring breakthrough i want to prophesy it now, now whatever has limited you whatever has limited your family right now in the name that is above all names i come with the rod of a higher priesthood and i command every limitation be broken now limitations be broken now limitations i sense the anointing of the holy ghost limitations be broken now be broken now be broken now let the power of god break every limitation now hallelujah he told saul he said as you return you will see three men holding bread but two of them will give it to you does that mean they didn't want the bread for themselves in the name that is above all names the favor of god that can end the struggles in a man's life please believe the prayer i'm praying for you please believe it it's not by power there is a realm of ease that comes by the favor of god therefore in the name that is above all names i prophesy receive favor favor let the esther anointing come upon you now favor with men favor with god favor with kings favor with destiny help us in the name of jesus every wine presser and baker that needs to speak to the king on your behalf in the name that is above all names we provoke their ministry now we provoke their ministry now we provoke their ministry now hallelujah whatever you have been trying to do and you don't you don't seem to make progress you keep going around circles of the same thing in the name that is above all names everything you have tried and failed go and do it again this time with the anointing in the name of jesus everything you have tried to do and you failed i provoke an anointing upon your life and with this anointing go back and do it again it's a master we have toiled all night but he said nevertheless at thy word i bring the word of the lord to your life now what did not work before let it begin to work now hallelujah 
I pray for every family going through pain and suffering and limitation and bondage. Every family represented here. He said, as for me and my house, not as for me alone, as for me and my house. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, may the fire of God, may the fire of the Holy Ghost bring advancement in every family represented here. I command every family make progress, move forward, make progress, move forward, move forward. Hallelujah. I speak over everyone here and every family. Anyone marked for death. Anyone marked for death. Oh earth, I speak. Hear the word of the Lord. We forbid the earth from taking the body of anyone here. You remain immortal until your assignment is complete. You do not live by the sword. Therefore, you will not die by the sword. In the name of Jesus, you are separated from the wickedness and the harassment of terrorism. You are separated from the pestilence and the plagues that cause men to be afraid. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And for many who are students here, Mando Kasike Tepakadata, Rakato Bosco Prendiki Jabalal. In the name of Jesus, every yoke of academic bondage, in the name that is above all names, I command be free from it now. 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 Therefore, I release upon you the spirit of excellence. Receive the spirit of excellence. On common speed, academic exploits. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. For every ministry, every business, everything that is dead and grounded, in the name that is above all names like the dry bones in the valley of ezekiel i command life to it now i command life now i command life now in the name of the lord jesus christ i command life now hallelujah everyone in ministry in this place Kabo I pray for you let the doors of opportunity be open up to you you were not designed to market yourself the Bible said let her walk speak for her at the gates I command everything stopping your walk from speaking for you let there be an anointing that announces you in the name of Jesus Christ every struggle in any area of ministry we call it to end now in the name of jesus and anyone who is in ministry and you are confused you really don't know where you stand you don't know the spiritual paradigm you should be representing in the name that is above all names let there be clarity absolute clarity in the name of jesus now lift up your hands i want to pray for your finances in the name that is above all names first and foremost i cause the spirit of greed that stops you from engaging the principles that will bring true wealth and abundance i command the giving grace to come upon you in the name of jesus i cause the spirit of greed let it be far from your life in the name of jesus grace for you to be a faithful tither Grace for you to be a faithful giver. Grace for you to be a kingdom investor. May God give you wisdom. May God give you favor. 
may God bless the works of your hands therefore I release a supernatural anointing for you to prosper receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus God gives you wisdom God gives you ideas in the name of Jesus hallelujah everyone here who is trusting God and is saying Lord restore everyone here who had a better yesterday that is saying Lord if there was a way I can turn the hands of time I prophesy to you there is a God that can turn the hands of time and cause men to experience restoration therefore in the name that is above all names we bring back into your life every opportunity that was once lost in the name of Jesus opportunity for favor receive it opportunity for healthy connections every opportunity in your life that has been wasted by the favor and the mercy of God we call back that opportunity to return in the name of Jesus Christ we call it to return in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah whatever has made you cry in the name that is above all names whatever has brought tears out of your eyes because you were in a state where nothing and no one could help you in the name that is above all names may my God arise for you and that everyone who has laughed at you and said where is their God in the name that is above all names that God will arise for you my God will arise for you my God will arise for you Father in the name of Jesus Christ we pray right now there are thousands of people miracles will be happening as I'm praying some of you is happening to your members at home father miracles will break out right now at the count of three I just felt the anointing on me one two prayer requests are being answered supernaturally job 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 a job is coming I see it marriage is coming I see it admission admission jam jam request Wayek someone wants to get married before December I see it financial breakthrough cancer for your mother cancer for your mother salvation of your family members mighty salvation some of them are in the beer parlor the angel of the Lord is going after them father you have made this place an altar of praise where you turn every weeping into mourning this is no pretense oh God I speak right now let I every prayer like request so here. coming on my head and for ah, those yeah, streaming yeah, online yeah, yeah, yeah. I change it to be testimonies now everybody stand. in the name of Jesus please everybody stand I speak to you I speak to you prayer request believe in the Lord and that and which is established will hear the voice of believe God his prophets become testimonies and, shall and be delivered for God's people in the name of Jesus please lift your hands everybody
Hallelujah. Give God thanks, it is done. Hallelujah. Please, as I speak, I want you to believe it. I want you to receive it. While I pray, the Lord told me, if it does not happen, it's because you did not speak it. Things will change right now. As I speak, the angels of the Lord will begin to move to the areas that I'm speaking. All I need you to do is to shout a believing amen when you need to. Hallelujah. Every terminal disease represented in the life of anybody here or any family by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now it leaves your life and your family forever receive it infirmities are going infirmities are going 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 cancer go cancer go HIV die HIV die SS change to AA SS change to AA AS change to AA every blood disease go 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 every blood disease go now go now migraine headache go now go now fibroid go now go now peptic ulcer be gone right now be gone right now HIV one and two in any body or family I command you die now every infection in ladies and guys right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost be healed now every eye problem be gone now deafness in the ears go now any of your family members who is bedridden whether for stroke i'm seeing stroke and partial paralysis right now in the name of jesus i command them to arise from that bed every plague of death over any family he said and when i see the blood i will pass i pray any devil that has said you will not see 2014 and has said your family members will not see it, i cause that devil in the name of jesus hallelujah any kind of delay in this place marital delay or any kind of delay at the count of three yokes and causes of delay be gone one two three go 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 
Alléluia. Alléluia. Bien aimé. Bien aimé. Any altar of darkness. Hear me. I don't care where it's coming from. That is speaking against your life or the well being of your family. Right now, that altar, wherever it is, it will catch fire now. Catch fire now. It will catch fire now. Shake it, it, it. Catch fire. Catch fire now. Every altar. Shake it, it. Every altar. Catch fire. Catch fire now. Every altar against any family. Catch fire now. Hallelujah. Listen. Whoever has been marked for this favor that they say things cannot work for you or your family members, I remove that embargo of this favor now. 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 Hallelujah. Hear me. Whatever the devil has stolen from your family, whatever the devil has stolen in your life, I stand as a servant of God. This one is going to hit many people. There are many families that need restoration. I will shout restore at the count of three. We're hurrying up, we're out of time. Father, let the wind and the angel of restoration move across this place. One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I command restoration. I command restoration. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Restore. Restore. Hallelujah. Every yoke of academic failure, whether Wayek, whether Jam, some of you have not been able to enter the institution right now. I see fire. There are many of you, it's an embargo of darkness. You will feel like something jumping out of your head right now. I command yokes of academic failure. Be lifted now. Be lifted now. Be lifted now. Second of the Be lifted now. Be lifted now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. Some of you have struggled, hear me. Some of you are Christians, but you have struggled with habits, masturbation, pornography. It's not like you are bad. You have been trying and trying to stop. It's eating your life. Whether for you or for your loved ones, right now, I pray. That embargo of darkness. Sin shall not have dominion. And I pray, whatever spirit that sponsors that kind of life leaves you now. 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 Anyone here looking for a job or your family members, they've tried, they've applied everywhere. My Bible says promotion comes neither from the east, nor the south, nor the west. I pray right now, let an anointing that will cause your destiny help us and that of your family members to locate you. May that anointing hit you now. Take it! Take it! I command miracle jobs, miracle jobs, miracle jobs in the 
name of Jesus. Those of us who are in business, all your family members are in business, I pray right now, in the name that is above all names. The Bible says, it shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water, which yield its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever it doeth prospers. I pray right now. I command every business here, grow in the name of Jesus. Grow in the name of Jesus. Expand in the name of Jesus. Increase in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now hear me. Whatever trouble is in your family, some of you, your family is at the brink of divorce. Some of you, your father is not taking care of you. I don't care. Family problems, God is visiting them now. Every family problem. Because God marked this miracle service for families. Every problem. Satan is hiding behind the corner and joining the heads of people. At the count of three, be released. One, two, three. Families be free. Families be released. I command peace. I command prosperity. I command love. Every foul spirit responsible for the situation in families be lifted now in the name of Jesus. those who have been destined to help you and take you to the next level of your life right now wherever they are destiny help us i call you into the life of god's people wine pressers and bakers show forth come forth And he went to the tomb of Lazarus and Lazarus was dead four days and he called him forth right now whatever is dead in your life and your family I stand under this unction of God and I pray whatever is dead I command it right now let that which is dead hear the voice of the Lord come forth now come forth now Whatever is dead, come forth now. Hallelujah. I release breakthrough into your life. Receive it. All kinds of breakthroughs. All kinds of breakthroughs. You are well favored. I pray for your spiritual life. Some of you, your spiritual lives are zero no word life no prayer life tonight let a fire that not even you can quench fire prayer fire word fire take it take it receive it in the name of jesus a hunger for the things of the spirit take it take it take it a hunger to study the word to be obedient receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah hear me the Bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness and the Bible says that oil puts you above your fellows I pray for you wherever you go from today let there be an anointing you cannot explain that will distinguish you let it distinguish you out of the crowd let it distinguish you receive it in the name of Jesus any member of your family that is not born again 
I pray by the permission of the Spirit of God let the angels of God look for them and bring them into the faith now no matter how hardened they are we call them born again now we establish it every power that is not of God must let you and your family go tonight hallelujah Father, visit your people. 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 Now hear me. At the count of three. So mm. I see that sword again. I see that sword. Bring them out. I see that sword of the spirit. At the count of three, hear me. Inside and outside, there will be a convocation of the power of God. And every yoke of darkness must give way right now. Every spell and every enchantment. Man te la katosota is a blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance lift your hands at the count of three i like us to shout that name that is above every other name i invoke the power of the kingdom i represent and i declare in the name of the lord jesus that everyone and every family under any spell bring them out ushers every spell of darkness in the name that is above all names i speak with an apostolic voice from the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus that every power every witchcraft that has kept god's people down you must go now at the count of three shout that name one two get ready now three go press kete now now i command those powers i command powers inside and outside in the overflow right now right now marco pokotos in the name of jesus i command judgment judgment every altar every yoke outside there are angels moving outside there are angels with mighty sword outside no power that ties your destiny will remain tonight hallelujah i see the angels of the lord moving outside all those in the overflow right to the second overflow at the back lift your hands lift your hands everybody outside Jesus. in the name of jesus i want those outside to shout that name jesus and there are people i see chains chains around people at the count of three those outside the holy ghost is going to visit families there is fire that will fall outside are you ready now those outside one two three I 
I see a pruning fork outside. I see a pruning fork outside. Lord, let no family, let no individual stand. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. <laughs> I'm hearing in my spirit the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom the Lord is asking me to count four one two three four take it now let it be yours straight wisdom I'm seeing mantles falling mantles falling strange wisdom coming from heaven strange wisdom Coming from heaven. Receive it right now. Supernatural wisdom. Supernatural wisdom. Supernatural wisdom. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me somebody who used to have dreams. And everything you see will come to pass but it stopped right now I'm seeing a grace for restoration coming upon you right now in the name of Jesus it's not a general prophecy there are exact people that this is happening to a restoration a restoration a restoration a restoration a restoration Hallelujah. There is a grace. I feel like praying for students. There is a grace for academic excellence. Listen, it doesn't just happen. Believe me. It's not just about what you learn. There is a grace. There is a, an exact grace for this. Lord, I pray right now in a name that is above all names. I stretch my hands to your people. As many, O oh God, as will please you. Let this baptism of this unction for extraordinary understanding, let it come upon them right now. At the count of three, receive it now. One, two, three. Take it now. Please help them. Receive that grace right now. It's coming upon you. Extraordinary intelligence. Capacity to assimilate. Capacity to understand. Capacity to understand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That fair lady that shared her testimony, lift your hands. I see an angel pouring something like fire on your head. Father, in the name of Jesus, let us step into a level of extraordinary intelligence. I don't know you, but I release that grace upon you. From today, you a strange dimension of grace and intelligence. In the name of Jesus, receive it right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Receive it right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. There is a grace for entrepreneurship, creativity, witty inventions. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm seeing at least 43 people. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Let it come on them, oh God. Believe me, let it come on them, oh God. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands now. 43. I'm seeing a number 43. Strange ideas coming on your spirit now. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Receive it right now. I want to pray for those in ministry. There is always an unction for the next dimension. 
I don't know where you are, but you're going to begin to feel fire from your feet rising upwards. That's the instruction God is giving me. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I'm praying right now. Fresh fire, fresh mantle. Let it begin to arise now. You are in ministry in this place. Begin to receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, receive it right now. Those in ministry, help them. Separo doso koto baria, lekete koto so preska la bariata. Zabrate so so preso koto. Strange fire. I see strange fire rising from the feet. Rise on top from the feet. Rise on top from the feet. Please help them. In the name of Jesus, can you carry the child so that he doesn't? In the name of Jesus, strange fire, revival fire, supernatural unction, supernatural unction, supernatural unction, supernatural unction. Hallelujah. The Lord is ministering to me about a group of people here that he wants to bring into intimacy with him there is a dimension of intimacy it will surprise you you will start finding out that you are going alone to go and sit in a place the holy spirit wants to reintroduce himself to certain people lord where are they where are they find them find them tonight find rest in them where are these men and women where are these men and women that you want to introduce yourself to? Beyond church. Beyond church. Beyond church. Arado Supragadiza la Curiata. Hallelujah. I'm seeing people here who will be burning for days like fire, literal physical fire that will not stop. You will go with it, you will wake up with it, it will continue. There is an energizing of the spirit that is happening to people. An energizing of the spirit happening to people. It's a fresh fire. It's a fresh fire. Hallelujah. If you came with anything that is a point of contact, whether a document, certificate, whatever it is that is a point of contact, whether you are inside or outside, anything you can use, I want you to lift it up. So many things are happening to people in the realm of the spirit. There's someone at the media stand. The Lord is lifting that person to the next level. I'm seeing someone in a vision down at the media stand. Stepping up. Let them enter, oh God. Right now. Let them enter into that realm. That dimension. Somebody at the media stand. The Lord is it's like an initiation into a dimension. Into a dimension. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 19 says handkerchiefs and aprons handkerchiefs and aprons I've explained to you the mystery behind these results no man can speak over your life and you just have results like that it, it doesn't happen that way I'm about to speak over your points of contact if you don't have anything you are the point of contact yourself are we together Many of you will be surprised. Believe me. Believe me. Many of you will be surprised at the dramatic things that will happen. We are talking about the Holy Spirit here. We are not just talking about an anointed man. We are talking about the Holy Spirit. His anointing like a cloud comes to mantle certain aspects of your life. And you see grace speaking for you. Grace speaking for you. Lift it up, you can lift your hands. 
Speak now. In the name that is above all names, I prophesy upon every point of contact you are using now. Let a grace, the power of performance that makes things to work. I release it right now upon that instrument. I release it upon your documents. I release it upon your pictures. I release it upon your certificates. I release it upon your proposals. Hear me. Whatever you are agreeing for as a point of contact, I give life to it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit a dimension of results you have never seen. Begin to see it now. I speak to every CGPA that is down here. Hear my voice. I speak as one sent by the Lord. I command you to arise now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There are people who are supposed to graduate but as it is now it looks like they may not graduate i change it now in the name of the lord jesus christ i decree and declare where your helpers have passed you and ignored you i put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you i put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you listen everything that used to flow in your life and stopped mysteriously i opened the door for it to continue everyone here in business any kind of godly business i stretch my hands enter a level of rest now believe what i'm praying for you I bring you into a dimension of rest now. Every troubled family here, all kinds of troubles from lack of finances to trouble, to fight, to quarrel, in the name of Jesus, I introduce an anointing to that family. And I command, let there be peace right now. 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 Every troubled family, let there be peace right now. There are people here who need divine direction as a matter of urgency. I speak to you. Hear his voice and hear it clear. Hear his voice and hear it clear. Hear his voice and hear it clear. In the name of Jesus Christ, in dreams and visions, may his will be made known to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command every manifestation of the spirit of fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of the future. Uncertainties around your life. That is making you do foolish things. I command right now. Fear. Go in the name of Jesus. Fear. Go in the name of Jesus. Fear, go in the name of Jesus. Fear, go in the name of Jesus. Every veil of disfavor that is around your life 
that makes things to work for others until it gets to your turn and then mysteriously when the breakthrough is almost coming you never see it I decree and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command that captivity to end now. I command that captivity to end now. Hear me? Everyone called jobless here. I stand in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I decree and declare, may your miracle job find you. Believe what you are hearing. May your miracle job find you. In the name of Jesus. Now I pray for anyone here having any infirmity. I don't care what it is. I don't care how long. Any stranger in your body. A lady is going to shout now under the anointing. And then the power of God for healing will touch people. In the name of Jesus I command be healed now. Say amen. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Every blood disease be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. Migraines be healed now. Every kind of abnormal condition in your body be healed now. Growths and lumps around the body, whether breast lumps, all kinds of lumps, I command that they disappear right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your family. In the name of Jesus. Between now and the next seven days. May you hear strange testimonies from God. Please believe me. I say it again. Between now and the next seven days. I stand in the name of the Lord God of heaven. And I command in the next seven days unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies it doesn't take time it takes his anointing everything that your hands have done and it did not work I stretch my hands to yours and I command from today become a proof producer I command today become a result producer become a result producer become a proof producer in the name of Jesus hear me Every pending issue over your life, every pending issue, any kind of pending issue right now, issues that have been hanging in the realm of the spirit and will not be resolved. I decree and declare, let an end come to those issues now. Let an end come to those issues now. Let an end come to those issues now. Every family here that has experienced delay as a family, not an individual alone, shake it here. There is unction upon me. The hand of God is upon me. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. The Lord is asking me to push families forward. I push you forward now. By the mystery of prophecy, I push you forward now. I push you forward now. Hear me. In the name of Jesus Christ, whoever must show up in your life and lift you, 
and lift your mother and lift your father and wipe your tears in the name of Jesus I stand by the God of heaven whose I am and I decree and declare that between now and the next two weeks strange encounters strange encounters strange encounters with the gift of men strange encounters strange encounters mysterious coincidences that will lead to your breakthrough everything that has died in your hands and in your life hear the word of the lord i command it to come back to life now i want to pray please drop your hands just the brothers lift your hands i want to release upon you grace for establishment listen if you are wise you will pay attention to what i'm saying there is a grace that establishes men are we together now establishment is where you gain stability in life financially are we together relationally spiritually purposefully there are many men many church brothers the reason why many people are not in relationships the reason why many people cannot move forward in their life is because the devil has taken this aspect out of their lives so you find a godly brother but you are 35 years you are still begging for money you are still living in your parents house it's a cause lift your hands in the name of jesus i pray for every brother here the grace and the unction that turns weak men into great men the grace and the unction that establishes men financially ministerially career wise and in purpose at the count of three in the name of jesus christ whose i am and whom i serve i decree and declare may that grace come upon you now one two three take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now upon you i command that grace there is a gentleman outside that grace is coming upon him in a mighty way take that grace right now brothers receive it now in the name of jesus christ listen it is this grace that brings speed of establishment in your life help us come to support you to gain your footing in life it's not just by growing old there is a grace you don't have to pay for everything by yourself there is a grace that sends help us to your life to your ministry establishment is a mystery in the spirit you can have a thing but when you are established you are you are well stabilized enough to now begin to be a blessing to others there are many people who are experiencing finances here but they are not established you are established means you can bless others without being affected established in wisdom your mind is developed so that you no longer act like a child The Lord is ministering to me. The Lord is ministering to me that He wants to take away barrenness. 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 It doesn't just mean physical barrenness alone. Unproductivity is a cause, is the cause of hardship. The classic sign that a man is carrying that demonic thing is barrenness. In the name of Jesus, I command your desert to become a fruitful vine. In the name of Jesus, I command your fruitful vine to become a forest. I say it again in the name of Jesus, I command your desert to be a fruitful vine. I command your desert to be a fruitful vine. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In one minute, I want you to ask the Lord for any one thing. I'm releasing my faith with you. Just one thing. Lift your voice and pray. 
I'm releasing my faith with you. Please pray. One minute. Ask the Lord and watch it happen. I release my faith with you. In the name of Jesus. I release my faith with you. Ask the Lord. Don't say it is impossible. We are talking about the God of heaven here. We are talking about the spirit of the living God. What you see is the ministry of the spirit. The ministry of the spirit. Ask what you will. And it be granted unto you by the spirit of God. Are you praying? Just one thing. Change my life. Just one thing. Give me laughter. Just one thing. Answer my marriage. Just one thing. Give me a child. Just one thing. Settle me financially. Just one thing. Multiply your grace on my life. Hallelujah. Whatever it is that you have asked the Lord, I release my faith with you and I call it your testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release my faith with you and I call it your testimony. Listen, the Bible says, and whatsoever Adam called it, that was the name thereof. If it is called a testimony, then it becomes a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, no matter how impossible it is, may the God of all flesh, the God of Jeshurun, that rides upon the wings of the wind, I pray that he will step into your life and give you dramatic testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will literally start feeling the presence of the Holy Spirit, like a presence walking, literally, literally. I mean what I'm saying literally walking like someone walking you enter a room some of you you will feel it as wind some of you you will see that shadow a similitude of his presence you will begin to have encounters not demonic encounters encounters with his presence you will be sleeping hear me you will be sleeping and you will feel a physical touch a man will wake you you will be alone in the room yet you will hear a voice clear a real voice you will know that this is the spirit of God leading you in the name of Jesus I activate that dimension begin to walk in the impulses of the spirit the voice of the spirit the touch of the spirit the feelings of the spirit I program your spirit man to understand the impulses of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ yes he will come to you he will come to you he will open your bible when you are sleeping you will wake up and see your bible open he will write notes and leave it physical notes on papers you will see it happen you will pray and he will come to your room like benny Hinn, it will be good morning holy spirit you will have similitudes of encounters with him you will sleep in the night and your whole night will be full of visions 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 encounters visions encounters visions hear me men will come and sit on your bed and start shaking under the anointing because something a deposit of eternity has followed you they will wear your clothes and the mantle will catch up with them they will wear your shoes they will eat in your plates and you will carry strange fire in the name of jesus you will hear men call you and confess and tell you i'm sorry i'm the one who stole your laptop i'm sorry i'm the one who took this from you i'm sorry because of the presence of god listen by this new dimension of encounter I command that you become untouchable untouchable by witches and wizards untouchable by accidents untouchable by bomb blasts 
untouchable by armed robbers. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Quarter to shame. Your senior partner will arise for you. No longer will people say, where is your God? Your life will be an answer to that prophecy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. There are some of you here. What has happened to you tonight? It will last for a long time. The word of God, the Bible will open to you in a fresh way. A way that you have never seen it. A dimension that you have never seen. Hear me. Some of you after tonight, God will start giving you instructions to go and pray for certain people. Don't be afraid. You will go and you will watch miracles erupt. Signs and wonders erupt. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father, I ask finally that everyone following online everyone following here inside and in any of the overflows everything that has made men mock God in your life I am agreeing with you from the depth of my heart I give you the next 13 days surprise them surprise them with the enviable results that will come from your life surprise your accusers Surprise everyone who knew you. In the name of Jesus.